Okay, so I already have my canyon model, and now I won't teach you how to create a fully working canyon. I might do that in another video. So first of all, uh, when you have your model, uh, you have I have another model inside of it, which it doesn't really matter. You can have as many as you want, but make sure that everything inside of it is named differently. So you can see that I have back, front, hole, primary, and the base. And of course, select the most upper uh, model and go to the primary part. And you will need to have a part that is kind of like uh, down touching the ground and straight so select the primary part and then you can select that part just because while animating if you don't have that it will be kind of uh, at a weird angle I don't know it just won't look good and then after that go to your home tab go to the toolbox you'll switch from the models to the plugins and then you will search rig edit and without a space just like this and here it is this is it's the second thing so you can just download this uh, plugin I think it should be free and after that go to your plugins select the edit rig thing we just downloaded and then you can select this uh, model you have and now we'll first select the things from the bottom and then go up so we'll select these two and i want these two to stay stationary so i'll just create a weld so they can't actually be animated or moved then i will select this one and this like uh, back or actually bigger part and then I will create a joint because I want this uh, this part to be able to move. Then after that, select this one and this one. I want uh, this one to move as well. And then uh, this one and this one. And I don't want this uh, like whole thing to move. So I will just create a weld. So after all that, uh, you should have something that looks kind of like this. You have these like orange things and dots. And you can even like move these. But I don't really uh, want to do that, so you can leave them also where they are. Now, another thing we need is a animation controller. So insert one of those inside of the most upper model. And after that, you're pretty much set. You can go to the avatar animation editor, and then you can actually just uh, select the model. It might be kind of weird to select it. You might have to find the right part where you can actually select it. And then after that, you can see that only the models that I have uh, put joints on i can actually select these others that are stationary i can't actually click on them and from now on it's pretty easy you can just like do an animation so i'll do like kind of a firing animation so you can move a few keyframes uh, or even like uh, some seconds if you want this is like uh, at the start it will be like this by default and then i will like move it kind of like this and now i'm not actually sure why there is no keyframe that's pretty weird but to me it doesn't really matter since it's a simple animation. And then this is like the back thing, so something like this. It kind of shoots it out. Yeah, I mean it can be better, but it's basically just for the showcase. So I have something that looks like this. And after you're done with your animation, you can rename it even. You know, Canyon, Anim. And we'll set the animation priority to action, I think that's the best. And then you can just publish it. If your game is owned by a group, you will go to this creator, click on this and select a group instead. And you can leave the title, whatever it is. Description can be empty. Then you save it. And then you can copy this ID. We will need that for later. You can close this animation editor. Uh, go to your canyon. You can either insert the animation, I don't know, in a replicated storage or basically wherever uh, you want it to be accessible to. But I will insert it inside the canyon itself. Paste the ID. And now just to showcase to you that it works, I'll just add a new script and then we can type, uh, or actually we need another thing. So go to your primary and insert a click detector. So this is just for the showcase. So you can actually see that it works, but in your game, you'll probably have a different way of triggering the animation. We'll call click detector equals script.parent.main.primary dot click detector. And we'll actually need to uh, get the animator as well, or actually animation controller, animation controller. And then you can actually do straight away uh, load animation, or actually this should be a variable, so we'll call track equals animation controller. And then we of course also need animation, I don't know how I forgot that. Um, local anim equals script.parent.animation. Copy that, paste it inside of this, copy the extracting, and then we can just do play. Uh, you can add like a debounce or delay or whatever you want to this, but I'll just leave it like this. Now when I come up to it, if I click on this, you can see that it plays the animation. 
Of course, this doesn't have a cooldown, so you should probably put a cooldown to your system so it doesn't look like this weird and you can kind of spam it. But you get the point. We have this animation, it works, and it looks kind of even good, maybe. So that's it from this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. Also, check out my Patreon for other like systems like this and models and such. And thanks for watching.